Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly scale all of your UI in Roblox Studio. Let's get right into it. So I have an example. I have two text labels, not scaled and scaled. So it looks fine, right? Just the way it is. Um, let's close out a few things. You know, it looks fine. It, you know, it looks how it should be. But let's go to the device emulator. And let's go to, let's just say the iPhone X. Well, you can already see that not scaled, it's not fitting properly on the screen like it was before. Same thing goes with every um, device. You can see it's not pro um, properly scaled. It, you know, this isn't good because the majority of players on Roblox, they are on a mobile device. So, you know, something like this, and that doesn't look good. And some devices it looks okay, but it's still not the same. So how do you fix this? I, same thing goes with frames and every, you know, frames and image labels and everything else. Text box, image buttons. So here it is again. The red one is not scaled. The green one is. Uh, looks fine, you know, the way it is. But uh, as soon as we switch to a tablet or an iPad, either one, this one is not scaled to fit with the device screen. See, if we go here, that looks horrible. You want to fix that. So, um, what I've done differently is in this frame, or in the green one, I have the anchor point set to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That's how you have this square in the middle, so it um, helps fix it more. You know, helps the position better. Now, I have a plugin to do this for me. It's called Offset to Scale. It's up here. What that does is it changes the position and the size from offset to scale. Because in this red frame, the position and size is in scale, which means 0 to 1,000. And in scale, it's 0 to 1. It's scale. You want to use scale instead of offset. Okay? So that's what, that's what it does, is it converts uh, the positions and sizes, and it makes it uh, into scale. Or, if you don't have a plugin, I mean, you could search up one of these plugins and just get it. Um, mine's just called UI Scale Plugin. Or, what you could also do, so I'm going to do it to this frame. I'm going to duplicate it, so I'm going to hide this frame. I'm going to transform this frame into what I want to do. Alright, so I'm going to turn this frame into what we want it to be like. So, I'm going to change the anchor point to 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5, because it's scale. And so, it'll be halfway and halfway up. Okay, and then let's go to uh, position is already scaled, which is nice, I think. I think it already scales, but here we have size. It's an offset. Well, let's say we don't have a plugin. What you can do is in the size box, you can say 0, comma, 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. So four zeros, it'll make it so it goes down to, you know, 0 by 0. But what you can do is scale it back up the way you want it something happened to the ui corner i don't really know what happened i think i just have to fix it but i think i hold on guys i don't really know what happened to that frame guys i guess you probably shouldn't set it to zero that's always worked for me but it's kind of broken because i set my corner to be in scale as well so if I do this, and I do the same exact thing as I just said, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and I set the size to 0, and then my UI corner is going to be uh, uh, offset, because I think that's probably might be the issue. But we scale it back out. I don't really know what's going on, because the, the corner is no longer applied there. So maybe you guys probably shouldn't set it to 0. That always worked for me, but... I guess you guys just want to use a plugin and up here offset the scale. Uh, so just use a plugin. Let me let me do something, guys. Okay, guys. If you go to the create page and then go to store and you type in UI scale plugin, uh, I I don't use that, but I use this one right here. Um, and you click on it. It says it's available in my inventory, and this is the one I use. So this is the plugin that I use to update all that. Just to let you guys know. But anyways, guys, when we have scaled it, we set the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and our size, uh, I've clicked on offset to scale. 
I'm just going to click, uh, change this back to green so this is the good one. Now, you guys want to follow this very carefully. If we go back to the device, it looks a little bit weird. But that is because I have something, or whoops. I think I might have forgot to do something, but this is how it should look. Now, on some devices, it shrinks, as you can see here on a iPad. It kind of shrinks, it kind of caves in and, and stuff. How you can fix this is by using an UI aspect ratio constraint. So what this means is when you try moving the size around, it doesn't like do it depending on the corner you are doing it. So you have to go into the UI aspect ratio constraint and change it within here of how you want it to be. So I'm going to set that to 1 for now. It kind of looks the same. And we go to test. Go to, to the iPads, and it's no longer squished. So that's how you can keep the size, right? It, it's still scaled, but you want to keep that same size. And so that's what you want to use is UI aspect ratio constraint. So what you guys need to do to properly scale is set your anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Use a plugin to change your size to scale. Um, using the uh, UI aspect ratio, it say um, there's a little like warning by the size, so just let you guys know that the size is influenced by the aspect ratio. And using UI aspect ratio constraint, now make it so things are properly actually scaled on all devices. You may also notice that um, the UI stroke is not scaling, but that's just a Roblox thing. Uh, you can use different modules to fix that. But yeah, guys, that is how you scale all this stuff. Just like that. But what I am going to tell you guys is that UI aspect ratio constraint should be used for stuff like image labels and not text labels and frames. Because uh, if you put a uh, UI aspect ratio constraint, it kind of shrinks it. You're going to have to change it. But maybe you could. Maybe you should, you know, too. Uh, but there's no real point of why you should do that. Text labels you know they're fine the way they are I should probably delete this but yeah guys uh, here is our fully scaled um, text label and frame looks good on every device oh. looks a little weird for text labels I don't really know why but that's how you guys can do that Alright guys, so the reason why it was looking bigger on uh, iPhones and stuff like that is because like the bounding box around the text label is like bigger than what it actually is. So you want to move it in so it's closer to the text label without making it smaller. Uh, so when you go to the device, then it actually properly fits. So just told you guys know, I kind of forgot about that. That's another tip added on there. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you just enjoyed it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.